Hello YouTube, this is Matt Matthew and today I'm going to give you guys a setup tutorial on how to set up Xenia, the Xbox 360 emulator that is available on PC right now since Xenia is getting a lot of crazy updates lately and a lot of good publicity so let's get to it. Right off the bat let's load up, you can go into Xenia's github page, we're going to be using Xenia Canary version due to the fact that the Canary version allows us to use custom patches, which is used to enhance the games themselves and make them run a little better. So right here, you can go to Xenia Canary, click on the release tab right here, Canary releases, and of course, click on Xenia Canary right here. Now, once you click on it, it will download right here. Now, you can also go down, down here to the Xenia Canary Game Patches GitHub page. Scroll a little down here and right here, you can click on this download this zip right here and it will download the game patches right there. Now, once these are done, put the zip files wherever you like it. I have them right here, right here for you guys on the desktop to make it quick. Right now, you're just gonna right click and unzip it with any zip program you have. You could either use 7-zip or actually win, win a raw, whichever one you feel comfortable with using. Now it will create a folder called Xenia Canary, which you'll just double click it right here. And right here, you're going to click on the game patch folder and just drag it along right here. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click the game patch folder and using win raw, you're gonna click extract here and this will extract the patches folder which is where you need it to be now right off the bat you're gonna right click once again create new and you're gonna look for create new text document and now what you're gonna do is you're going to name this you're going to name this portable now what this does is the first time you load up Xenia right here, it's going to create the Xenia config folder, which is what you need to configure Xenia itself. Now what you're going to do is you're going to close Xenia temporarily. You're going to open the Xenia Canary config folder. And right here, we're just going to change a few minor things to make Xenia run just a little bit better. You're going to scroll down. A lot of these settings you're going to leave as default because a lot of them don't really need to change anything. Um, and it's going to keep on scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. Now right here where it says D3, D12, clear memory page state. Now, if you're using any Team Ninja game, um, Devil May Cry, uh, I believe it's the DMC version, DMC Devil May Cry, as well as any of the Ninja Gaiden games, you're gonna want to change this to true. T-R-U-E. And that will fix the missing char character models. And trust me, you do want to enable this because it's very bad how they look about it. You could also change the full screen. Whether you want a lot simulator full screen, I keep it there. Rendering specific resolution, I will keep this at default. You don't need to change that. Uh, post processing, don't really need to change that. You can change that with it yourself. You don't need to change that within the config file. And pretty much it. The only other thing you could probably change, which is what a lot of people are doing, is change the internal resolution. Where where it says draw resolution scale, uh, one is the Xbox 360's default 720p, 1280 by 720. Two will bump that up to 1440p, 256 by 1440. And if you enable three, this will change it to 4K. 3840 by 160 and you just change the numbers here and here to 1, 2, and 3. 
do not use um, half numbers like one like 1.5 2.5 those do not work and those might break the game or actually break the emulator it even tells it that it even says it itself right here um, so, um but yeah that's pretty much it after that you're gonna go to file save make sure xenia is saved and the config is safe and once you're doing that you're pretty much right off the bat oh i forgot one thing uh to enable the patches you are going to need to find a phrase that says apply package right here and make sure this is set to true um by default on the canary version i believe it's already set to true but it's always good to verify just so make sure that's set to true or else your patches won't go to work. Now, if you want to enable any patches, you just double click on the patches folder and just find your game. Uh, just, eh, let's just do perfect parts. Considering that's the game I was playing this, this morning. Uh, Pretty much fine. Whatever you're looking for, like 60 FPS mode. We're just gonna set that to true. T U E. Uh, don't want to change assets first, you know. Pretty much it. Whatever you want to enable, just enable it, and just make sure you save changes. Oh. Now we're gonna need some games. So for this. We're gonna hop over my Xbox 360 and I'm just gonna show you how to make a backup of your game to use it on Xenia. Alrighty, so here we are. We are at my Xbox 360 and right now we already have a game loaded, Dante's Inferno, and this is the game that we're gonna copy to play on Xenia. Sally, there is no patches for Dante Inferno. But one of the first things you're gonna do is make sure you have a SD card, a SD card, a USB drive that is a minimum of 32 gigabytes, of 16 gigabytes minimum. But mine's 32. 32 just to be on six, but 16 is the lowest you could go. Um, plug it in. Make sure it's properly formatted. The way you do this is you highlight it, you click Y, click Format. It's gonna give you a warning saying that it's gonna remove all the contents. You click Yes. This drive has already been formatted so many times, it's not even funny. And just let it go right there. Now it should say, if it's a 32, 28.8 gigs, if it's 16, I believe it's like 14 point something gigs. Um, make sure everything's good you're gonna go to console settings and make sure autoplay is set to disabled before you pop in any game make sure autoplay is set to disabled because if not as soon as you load in your game it will automatically load it and it will not work now once all that's done we're gonna go back to home we are going to pop in your disc make sure your tray is already open Copy your disc and close it, it's gonna load up the game. So you know what? I'm just gonna show you guys that right now. Boom, disc is open. Pop in the thing, it's gonna read it. And it's gonna load up the game. Now, if your game is dirty or scratched, it might not read it correctly, so make sure your disc drive is properly working and make sure your game is not scratched or broken in any way, shape, or form. Now, once the game is loaded, you're gonna click X for game details, and it's going to give you an option to install the game. Now, not every game is compatible with this method. I believe there's like six or eight Xbox 360 games that the install will not be available, and thus you cannot use this method of backing up your games to play on Xenia. But Dante's Inferno is one of the compatible games, and it's also available to play on the so once you click on install, 
it's going to ask you where you want to save the game at. You are going to click the USB drive, not the internal HDD of the Xbox 360, the, the uh, USB external drive that you connected. You're going to click OK, and it's going to start installing the Xbox game into your USB drive. Now, this is going to take a very long time. So just sit back, relax, grab a cup of coffee, go to the restroom, do whatever, and wait for it to finish loading. All right, once that is done, you could just press continue, close up your Xbox 360, turn off your console, and let's go back to the PC where we are going to take the USB drive out of the Xbox 60 once it's finishing shutting down and we are going to plug it into our PC. All right, so let's plug in the pen drive right now. Boom. Once it's plugged in, you're gonna get a notification right here. If the drive is not detected, you can just open up the file explorer and open it that way. By default, nothing is gonna be shown here because the file is hidden. On Windows 10, all you have to do is click View, Show Hidden File, and right here, your content is shown right here. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Xenia, double click Xenia, you're gonna go to File, Open, You are going to search for your pen drive, which I was playing Ninja Gaiden. So. Search your pen drive. You're going to go to your content folder. Click on another folder, which is right here. Click on it, which is usually the first folder right here. Your second folder, I believe, is for your profile. So you're going to click this folder right here. This is the folder of the game. And right here, you're going to double click on this file right here. Not the folder, you're gonna click on the file right here, which is sort of like your XDF. Now, once you double click it, the game is gonna instantly load up right here. And that, my friends, is how you set up Xenia to buy your backup Xbox 360 game right here the game is perfectly running well it's not perfectly running because I don't think the game run perfectly but the game is running on DD right here once again guys thank you so much for watching if you happen to enjoy this video please leave a like that will greatly appreciate it thank you so much comment down below if you guys um, have any questions about a setup how to set up Xenia once again guys everything you've shown here has been using my legally owned game a game that I purchased there was no piracy whatsoever no piracy everything was done strictly from my own Xbox 360 your Xbox 360 does not have to be flash it does not have to be JTAG you do not need to have a custom firmware on your drive you could do this all from your stock xbox 360 which is you know great unlike our rpcs3 which requires uh custom firmware enabled PlayStation 3 or or a compatible blu-ray drive this you could do straight off your factory once again guys thank you so much for watching like comment share subscribe below and as always, have an awesome day.